What's up ladies and gentlemen, I am Mr. Vodka and in today's video, we're gonna take a look at my favorite top 10 games of 2019 on the Nintendo Switch. Number 10 is Fire Emblem Three Houses on the Nintendo Switch. For this game, it actually almost didn't make the top 10, mainly because of the story. I know a lot of people are gonna give me some hate because they thought this game was phenomenal, but I just didn't like how the story turned out at least in the house that I picked. It was definitely not my cup of tea. But moving on, number nine, we have Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. This is a Nintendo Switch exclusive. It has a lot of replay value and they are still giving some DLC characters. You have a lot of challenges that you can unlock and it's a great game to play multiplayer co-op with friends that come over to visit. Number eight is another Nintendo Switch exclusive, Astral Chain. This game had a great story, enjoyed the combat, it reminded me of like Devil May they cry and Bayonetta and it did have a lot of fun little Easter eggs and there was some good replayability in here trying to go back and find all the different little hidden items that you could find but once you find everything there really isn't much to do. Moving on to number seven we have Ring Fit Adventure. This game was provided by Nintendo and I do have to admit it is a hilarious game to play. I have not enjoyed it as much as I wanted to because I am getting a little lazy, but Ring Fit Adventure is doing a phenomenal job of reminding me every single day as I have set the alarm at 6.30 to go exercise and try to defeat this RPG style exercise game. It is a ton of fun. You get to level up your character. You can do side mini games with your friends and it tracks all of your fitness. Number six is a remake of one of my favorite Game Boy games called Link's Awakening. This game came out this past fall, it also came out with an amiibo, has an incredible graphic style, the gameplay mirrors exactly what the Game Boy game was like, the sound, the score, the music, phenomenal, and it doesn't have a ton of replayability, which is why it didn't crack the top half of the top 10. There are fun things to find, like the secret seashells and trying to get all the different hearts, but it's not something that you're gonna play once you beat it all. So that closes out number six. Moving on to the top half of the list, we have number five, Yoshi's Crafted World. As Yoshi, you'll leap up high, gulp down enemies, and set out on a treasure hunt to find all the different collectibles. On the flip side, stages can be played backwards, providing new perspectives to explore and new ways to locate some of the more craftily hidden items. This world is made of everyday objects like boxes and cups. This is a two-player game which you can pass a Joy-Con controller to a friend for a cooperative exploration. One of the coolest things of this game that makes you want to keep playing is all the different collectible handicraft costumes that Yoshi has as you make your way through each stage. Trying to collect them all is a lot of fun and the extra levels at the very end, the post game levels, are wicked challenging. This game is great whether you are a new gamer or you're an experienced platformer, it's made for everybody. Number four is Super Mario Maker 2. In this sequel, you can now play, create, and share the side-scrolling Super Mario courses of your dreams in Super Mario Maker 2. They have a story mode where you can play built-in courses to rebuild Princess Peach's castle and make and play your own courses alone or together. If you have the Nintendo Switch Online membership, which gives you access to Course World and a wealth of online content, track your rankings, share your creations, and leave comments after you've played courses. You can also tackle the endless challenge, save online courses locally for later offline play, enjoy online multiplayer with players both near and far, and customize how you appear to others by dressing your me character with fun accessories. Number three, this one might throw you for a curveball because it is Nintendo Labo VR. This game was also provided to us by Nintendo and I have very special memories with Nintendo Labo VR because we were able to bring our crew from Brat Primary School here at Mahanison to meet the director of Nintendo Labo VR. We got to meet this entire team from Japan down at Nintendo New York. It was one of the most amazing experiences in my professional career. It's honestly a dream come true. And we are still showcasing Nintendo Labo even today. There are so many different things that you can do with Labo VR, including creating your own games in the Labo VR garage. On to number two. My second favorite game of 2019 is Pokemon Sword and Shield. Personally, I'm a massive Pokemon fan and have been for a very long time. The reason why Pokemon did not make it as number one is because of the story. Now, I have played every single Pokemon game and really love the story in 
sun and moon. But this so far, now I will be honest, I've only cleared the eight gyms. I haven't gotten anywhere past there, such as the Elite Four or the Champion. But I am disappointed in how everything has gone so far. Even the gym battles, there's no more challenge in there. But it's still a phenomenal game. I know there's a lot more that I got to do. So that's why it's number two on our list. But now for number one, my top favorite game of 2019 is Luigi's Mansion 3. I was a fan of Luigi's Mansion in the past, but I did not anticipate how great number three is going to be. In this game, Luigi embarks on a dream vacation with Mario and his friends upon receiving an invitation to a luxurious hotel. However, his dream quickly becomes a nightmare when King Boo reveals everything has been a ploy to capture Mario and friends. With the assistance of Professor Egad once again, the reluctant and cowardly hero Luigi traverses up and down treacherous floors of the now ominous hotel on a quest to save them. Wield the upgraded Poltergust G00 to slam and blow away the ghost defenses or summon Luigi, an all green doppelganger that can help Luigi overcome obstacles he can't get past alone. Interchange between Luigi and Luigi as one player or grab a friend and control one each. For more frantic multiplayer action, race the timer to clear various objectives on a series of floors in scare scraper mode. This mode can be played online or locally with up to eight players. This ghostly and gooey nightmare truly stole my heart and made its way all the way up to the top of my 10 favorite games of 2019. Now I'm very curious what your top games for the Nintendo Switch are for 2019, so it would really help out the channel if you left a comment down in the section below, hit that thumbs up button, and share it with your friends because I'm very curious what your top games are for 2019. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Don't forget to work hard, play hard, and I'll catch y'all next time.